YouTube, 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 what happens after the NVIDIA stock split? So thank you guys for tuning into the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So we know that NVIDIA will be having a stock split. And typically what happens after a stock split is liquidity, right? So the amount of liquidity that a company has typically goes up. And what happens is the cheaper price uh, entices new investors to come in. Now, yes, what I like to tell uh, investors that are new is that you can always dollar cost average with fractional shares, right? So it's something psychological to people to where they think that fractional shares is not good enough, right? So for this reason, uh, companies, you know, or which is one of the reasons why they do stock splits because this going to entice, you know, a lot of retail uh, investors to uh, put up more capital into the stock. OK, so that's one thing that happens. And usually with these stock splits, there are two for ones, you know, four for ones, five for ones. But NVIDIA is doing 10 for one. OK, so essentially the stock price is going to go from. $1,000 per share to about $100 per share, which is a lot more uh, enticing for a retail um, investor versus that $1,000, right? So simply said, they view it as a way to really bring in more liquidity into the space, okay? Now, before we get into the basics of uh these stock splits in a little bit more in depth. I want to first of all say this uh, in the case of NVIDIA, I think that what's going to happen, and it's just me speculating, telling you what I think is not financial advice. I think what's going to happen with NVIDIA is the stock is going to, to push up even more uh, after the split, or I would say the market cap is going to go, go up the liquidity uh, and this stock is definitely going to go up because there's a lot of people waiting on the sidelines, um, waiting to get in at a cheaper price. A lot of people have not gone in because the price is so high. But again, uh, having that knowledge, knowing to uh, simply buy fractional shares, is, is it, it takes you a long way. OK, so just keep that in mind. So I think that um it's going to to keep the market cap and the amount of uh, capital uh in the company afloat right so it's going to allow it to stay up consolidate and then you know as more earnings come out maybe the stock will go from 100 dollars per share to 150 you know 150 to 2 200 uh i think at some point this stock is definitely going to rival apple uh and and microsoft as, as far as market cap goes uh starting to kind of put push on the gas a little bit more so you know you're looking at a uh a, a, a stock that's over two trillion dollars worth of market cap so that is a lot all right now let's talk about some of the basics that happen usually uh when these stock uh splits actually happen so for those of you that don't know, when it comes to, to the dividend per share, and we know that the dividend for NVIDIA is going to go up as well. They spoke about this. And so I think this is going to fit nicely uh, with this stock split, knowing that the dividend per share is going to go up. So essentially, if the company's pays dividend, if the company pays dividends, the dividend per share will adjust to keep the total dividend payments the same. So if you do your math on that, Whatever it is right now is going to basically calculate over to that new stock price. OK, now a lot of you want to know about voting rights. So shareholders will keep the same voting rights that they've had um, um, to, to before the split. OK, um, now the basis. So if you own shares before the split, your total basis won't change, but your basis per share will. OK. So, for example, in this case, um, if you own uh, 100 shares of NVIDIA, for example, uh, at $1,000 per share, um, you essentially, what is that, uh, a million a million dollars worth of 
uh, NVIDIA will go to um, will go to a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so basically you're looking at at ten percent of what you actually have now. Um, so, but your value is going to stay the same. Okay, as far as the total uh, that you have. All right. Now, the tricky thing is, I know a lot of you guys have option contracts. Okay, so uh, when a stock split is announced, option contracts are adjusted so that their value doesn't change. So uh, this adjustment is called being made whole. So for whole splits like two for one or four for one, the multiplier and delivery terms stay the same. For odd splits like three for two or four for five, the strike, uh, the strike and deliverable are adjusted. So pretty much um, depending on whatever your, your your expiration date is, you have to factor in that time decay, that theta. Um, a lot of that stuff is going to go into play as well. But if you're in something like a, a leap year option contract, then essentially you, you won't really be impacted as much as somebody that has, um, you know, a short term contract that's going to decay in time anyway. Right. So essentially that's what's going on. All right. So overall, in a nutshell, um, when we look at the share price, the share price will adjust downward to reflect the company's market cap. We talked about that. Uh, this lower price may make the stock more appealing to new investors. We already spoke about that. So. I think there's a lot of money, like I said, waiting on the sidelines. And so from this perspective, I think NVIDIA is, is really going to uh, start to get on the tail of Apple after this stock split uh, and, and throughout the remainder of this year. That's just the way I see it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the stock split and what's going to happen. Uh, be interested to know what you guys think. Listen, guys, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. And we're out, guys. Peace.